Michael and Angela are done this time around. That marriage has crashed this time for good and I don't see them getting back together. They are not getting back together. Michael has been with Angela for seven years and he just got to America last December. A few weeks after he got to America, he now realized that he has been in an abusive relationship and he decided to take himself out of the abusive relationship by leaving Angela's house and going to turn himself over to the police. So if Michael had not gone to America in December, if he was still in Nigeria, how long was he going to continue re remaining in that relationship? How long was he going to be in this marriage relationship with Angela? If he had taken him 10 years to get to America, was he going to continue to remain in that relationship? How long was he going to take him to realize that he was in an abusive relationship? relationship. Hello everyone, my name is Oluchi and this is a Nigerian Shiminist React. On this channel, be sure that you're going to get commonsensical reactions to issues from a Nigerian point of view. So last week, Angela came out to announce that her husband Michael is missing after he just got to the United States. And then a few days after, she announced that Michael is missing. We thankfully got to find out that Michael reported himself to the police and um, said that he was running away from violence or domestic abuse. 99% of social media, 99% of lovers of 90 Days Fiancé and 99% of people who know about Michael and Angela are in support of Michael. Just a minute population is in support of Angela. You know, a lot of people believe, uh, and it's not just people believing, but we've actually seen um, in different scenarios. We've seen Angela being verbally abusive towards Michael, and um, we've also seen her being emotionally abusive towards Michael. Um, so it's very easy for people you know, to sympathize with Michael and see him as a victim, and sympathizing with Angela, because a lot of people see her as an aggressor, being that she's very loud, and she's not afraid to put herself out there, even with all the criticism that she faces on her social media pages and her social media handles, you know, she still puts herself out there, living her authentic life and just being Angela. So because of all of these, a lot of people believe that Michael should be, you know, handed the green card you know, on a platter of gold because of, you know, he has spent seven years knowing Angela, um, being married to Angela. And so because of all of the things that he has gone through, you know, being with Angela, being in a relationship with Angela, Michael should be given the green card and granted citizenship. Well, I have a totally different opinion and different perspective um, i believe that michael lets down nigerian men and you know in general lets down african men i do not believe that michael is blameless and i do, i do not totally believe that michael is a victim in this situation i believe that michael knows or knew 100 percent what he was getting himself into when michael and angela started their relationship michael was an adult as well as angela is an adult um even though angela is older than michael but they were both adults when they decided to get into this relationship so I don't think that Michael should be, should be, you know, should be labelled a victim because he knows totally and he knew 100% what he was getting himself into. First of all, he was dating an older white woman who I do not think that um, if she was Nigerian, I don't, I do not think that he would have been dating her. And I don't think that his family would have accepted, you know, for him to go ahead, you know, to date her. Also, I do not think that if he was even dating a younger Nigerian woman and she was, you know, this um, emotionally abusive, verbally abusive towards him, I do not think that he would have condoned it. So I totally believe that Michael knew what he was getting himself into and um, I, I have reasons to believe that he was with Angela just because he wanted to get to the United States of America which a lot of Africans or a lot of people believe you know that it's a land of opportunities a land of gold erroneously or rightly I do not know but this is what a lot of people believe a lot of people believe in the American dream and uh, Michael was one of is one of them because he actually dated an older American lady who was way older than him, who was very abusive towards him, verbally, emotionally, and probably otherwise. So I believe that Michael knew what he wanted from the get-go. He wanted a green card and American citizenship, and he thought that he was going to actualize it by, you know, being with an older white lady in the person of Angela, and if they get married, he was going to move over to America to join her as her husband. Now let's look at some of the instances of Angela's abuse towards Michael. First of all, she made Michael to be off social media. Michael has no social media account that can be said to be his. A lot of people also believe that Angela asked Michael not to walk because she wanted to be able to reach him anytime she wanted to um, through FaceTime. And um, so he would just be there at her back and call. Angela was paying his bills over here in Nigeria, paying his rent, paying for the car, probably paying for the food he eats. Michael was basically not working, so he was living off Angela. If anybody tells me that Michael is a victim here, I beg to differ, I beg to disagree. I do not think Michael is the victim here. For African men, for Nigerian men, African men pride themselves you know, in relationships to be the leader. You know, they pride themselves to be the provider. They pride themselves to be the protector in a relationship. So we've gone past the era of you know, where the man is the lord, head and master of the whole thing. It's a partnership. But there was no partnership in Michael and Angela's relationship. We could see where the power dynamics 
light on. And it was not on Michael, it was on Angela. So if you say that Michael was abused, Michael is a victim. So how long did Michael want to stay in this relationship before he realized that he was a victim and he was going through emotional, um, verbal abuse, domestic violence? Michael has been with Angela for seven years and he just got to America last December and that is when he now realized that he has been in an abusive relationship and he decided to take himself out of the abusive relationship. If Michael had not gone to America in December, if he was still in Nigeria, how long was he going to continue re remaining in that relationship? How long was he going to be in this marriage relationship with Angela? If he had taken him 10 years to get to America, was he going to continue to remain in that relationship? How long was it going to take him to realize that he was in an abusive relationship? So Michael had to get to America to realize that he was in an abusive relationship. This all making it make sense to me. For me, it all seems like if Michael had his plan and his plan was just to get to America, once he gets to America, he was going to he was going to rid himself of Angela, which it seems as if he's trying to do. I do not have a problem with younger men being in relationship with older women. Now it's not it's not my business because I'm not the one in the relationship. They are the ones in the relationship. After all, we have older men being in relationship or even being married to younger women and nobody sees anything wrong with it and they have good relationship but i've also seen younger men being in relationship with older women which have turned out very well so um michael being in a relationship with angela is not the problem um i must even the problem my problem with angela and michael relation was that michael did not assert himself as the man in that relationship um i don't see michael being the provider that was angela said that she was paying for everything the car he was riding you know the house she was living in here in nigeria she was Echo. Happy birthday. Thank you. Do you need to go out for your birthday? I did go out today, you know. Um financially buoyant. I mean I don't have more cash for me, so I have to stay at home. Remember I told you to send me some money for you refuse. I refuse, why did I refuse? Why did I refuse? Because you're an idiot! You have been blessed all these four years, and now you want to be ungrateful, mother I've always provided Michael with enough money to live on so he can make payments on his car, keep his phone on, have a TV. So where's that damn money going if he's asking for more? So Michael never accepted himself as the provider in their relationship. And then we have had more finances. But if Michael had also pulled his weight, if Michael had not had to rely on Angela, probably Angela would have given him a little more respect you know, than she had for him. So Angela basically saw Michael as her puppet, as her toy, you know, as, you know, um, someone that, you know, she owned. She was paying, paying his bills, paying for everything. Before they even got married, Angela had, you know, been very abusive towards Michael. For them being on camera, for, for it also being filmed, she shouldn't have said those things. And Michael accepted it. Michael, you know, swallowed all of those things and went ahead. There was a time that, that she wanted to break up with him. Michael went ahead begging and begging and begging and begging her. So how do you go ahead begging, you know, your abuser? How do you go ahead begging your abuser to continue to abuse you? And then people are saying that Michael is a victim. I do not agree that Michael is a victim. I believe that both of them used themselves. Um, Michael used Angela to get to America and, and Angela used Michael for companionship, for relationship, you know, to just feel better, feel younger, whatever that she, you know, she felt. Um, I believe that they both used themselves. I believe that they both knew what was a need for them. I do not believe that any of them is a victim. And I believe that at this point that it has gone so far, they need to break up. I know the surprising thing is that Angela and Michael's relationship is not the only older female and younger male relationship. We have um, Jenny and summit and you can see that in that relationship they are both loving towards themselves there's mutual respect in that relationship mutual respect and this is something that we do not see in the michael and angela's relationship there's no mutual respect angela does not respect her husband angela's children are older than michael or around the same age so i don't know if she sees him in that light and you know the disrespect was just too much for someone you call your husband this disrespect was too much and i think that has really gone far i think that it has gone far and i hope I hope that this time around that this breakup is real, you know, for their mental health and for the mental health of viewers, a lot of viewers who really take this show to heart and, you know, invest so much emotions in this relationships, you know, on the Back to Days Fiance show. Um, I think that just going to find, I think that they really need to break up this time. But note, Michael is not the victim. Michael is not the victim. Angela is not the victim. They both used each other. They both knew what they were in for. And Michael lets down African men. Michael lets down Nigerian men.